About four years ago, Technoblade beat Hardcore Minecraft with a steering wheel. So in this video, we're going to take it one step further and survive 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore using only a steering wheel. Oh, and if you go on to enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like. But without further ado, let's get straight on to day one. All right. Hey, guys, and welcome to 100 days of Hardcore Minecraft with a steering wheel. OK, so the first challenge we're going to do is to actually turn it into Hardcore mode. Come on. All right. There's Hardcore. Uh, and there we go. Oh. All right. So as you can see, guys, the way this is going to work is I can steer and do most things. Well, I can do everything with my steering wheel. Oh, my God. Yeah. If we fall down holes, it's going to be really hard to get out. So we need to be very careful. And we need to be fast on day one because I don't really fancy spending the night outside with a bunch of mobs. OK, now let's go find some sheep real quick. Oh, my God. There is a pillager outpost right there. Oh, lava. OK, we need sheep, guys. One eternity later. All right, now we've got the challenge of actually killing them. So if you look, these uh, paddles here are actually my left and right click. Oh, I should probably craft some tools. Oh, we got wool. <laughs> Please just die. Nice. Yes. Okay, nice. And then we have to use our steering wheel to navigate the inventory still. Come on. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, this is professional crafting, guys. There we go. Sticks. And oh, we're meant to be crafting a bed, but we're doing a pickaxe. Okay, that's fine. Now it's bedtime, guys. There's the wool and our bed. Uh, now we need a temporary house. This feels very weird that you guys can actually see my hands. This house is going to be perfect, guys. Ah, oh, it's already hurting my arms. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's going night. Yeah, it's going night. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Oh, my God. It's a race. No pressure. We just need to sleep. Otherwise, the video's over. Okay, let's go. Please, no mobs. No mobs. Good, 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 good. Aim to get some stone tools today. Yay, we have stone. We've got the rest of the day to craft ourselves some tools. Yay, stone pickaxe, finally. Next, we have to craft a furnace. This is going to be very hard. Let's go. That was actually all right. Okay, guys, at this point in the video, I'd like to tell you my goals for these 100 days. The first goal is to get full netherite armor. The second goal is to confront the pillagers that live next to my home. And the third goal is to kill the ender dragon. And of course, I'll do all of this using only a steering wheel. Will I be able to complete all of these goals? Keep watching to find out. There we go, our house. Let's make some doors. I am getting too good at crafting with a steering wheel. One and two. Oh, just look at how beautiful beautiful it is guys the next thing on the agenda is to get some decent armor all right guys the food is now cooked so let's grab it and we can have our first taste of food in this hardcore world ah oh, that's much better now let's spend a couple of days mining oh is that iron let's go There's some iron why is it so dark all right i'm gonna go make a torch looks like it's second pickaxe time and there we go Ooh, iron this is about the level we find diamonds all right i'm gonna set up a little base camp area here so that we can like smelt all of our iron and get ourselves some iron armor and stuff here instead of just running all the way back up to the house there's the iron cooking and now i can use some of this iron to make myself a nice iron pickaxe perfect what is this oh it's a geode nice oh my god there's a massive cave there i don't like that oh my god we found diamonds <laughs> We found diamonds with a steering wheel. Oh, please let it not just be one. Yes, it's at least two. That's good. All right, let's get them. One, two, seven, eight. Let's go. Woo. Oh, that is so beautiful. Nice. All right, now let's gather up the rest of this iron and make ourselves full iron armor. All right. And there we go, we have our full set of iron armor with a steering wheel. Oh, now let's make some more torches and some more pickaxes and cue multiple day epic mining montage. All 
Alright guys, it's day 15 and we finished all of our mining and this is the result. So we didn't get any more diamonds, but we did manage to get a lot of iron, a lot of coal and even a fair amount of lapis, but only a tiny bit of gold. And now my hands are very sore because using this steering wheel is not the most comfortable thing. Then let's put some coal in here and some coal in here. And now let's rest our hands while all this stuff is smelting. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, it's the next day and my hands are feeling a little bit better. So let's grab all of our iron. And now let's craft ourselves a full set of iron tools. There's a pickaxe, an axe, a sword, and finally a shovel. And while we're at it, we might as well craft ourselves a shield. Perfect. All right, and I think the next thing to do is to make some upgrades to our house. So let's spend the rest of this day gathering a bunch of wood. Also, guys, I should mention that I'm now using these pedals to navigate through through my hotbar. So now finally I'll be able to use all of my inventory slots, which I'm very happy about. Oh my god, guys, here's our first skeleton. Here we go. Always flanking. Nice, there we go. Woo, that was pretty scary. Let's get out of this little cave. We need more wood. Oh my god, killing this rabbit is the ultimate challenge. Come on, it's so hard to kill a rabbit, especially with a steering wheel. I'm coming for you. Come back here. I'm gonna get you. Oh, so good. This rabbit's so good. Being outplayed by a rabbit. Come back. Oh, I nearly got him. Oh, no. Nearly. Oh, come back. All right, you can live for now and let's sleep awesome it's day 17 now let's start construction on our house all right the house is now destroyed and now we can start to build our house wait oh my god there's pillagers coming to attack us ah! let's fight okay we got this Right, so it's all nice and terraformed now. So let's lay out the foundations to our house. One, two, okay, that's four. Alright, so we've made a pretty decent start on the house, but for now, I think we need to set up some kind of storage system because as you can see, my inventory is pretty full. So let's get a crafting table. Let's put that over here for now and let's get some wood and let's get a bunch of chests. There we go. I'm getting a hang of all the buttons like crouching and stuff with this little button here on my keyboard. It's not a keyboard, it's a steering wheel, but anyway. <sighs> That took a very long time. Anyway, we've got this banner and I'm gonna put it in front of our house just to show all those pillagers over there that we're not scared of them. Nice. All right, so now I am going to go down and grab some more deep slate from the chest and then I'm gonna complete the rest of the house. Uh. All right, guys, we're back and it's day 22 and our house is looking a lot more complete. As you can see, all that's really left to do is to fill in the windows with our glass. Oops, looks like we missed a spot. All right, guys, let me know what you think of my house in the comments down below. I think it's pretty good considering we did build it with a steering wheel. And I think I'm going to spend the rest of this day just killing some animals. Ooh, a ravine. All right, let's jump across this ravine, guys. We got this. Oh, everything's so much more intense with a steering wheel. All right, so it's day 23, and I've had a little break since we last spoke. And in that time, you may be able to tell, but I developed a cold, so now my voice sounds like this, which is just great. But anyways, we're running low on food, so let's go on a nice little murdering spree. Honestly, killing rabbits is the hardest thing to do. Wait, did the rabbit kill itself? Oh, it's a smart rabbit. It's trapped. Goodbye, rabbit. No, it managed to get away. <laughs> did it? Yep. <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of food now. Let's cook it up. And while we're waiting, we might as well craft ourselves another axe. Because if we plan on beating the Ender Dragon, we're going to need to be a lot better at controlling this steering wheel. And I plan to get better by building myself a nice training course so that I can master the art of using a steering wheel to play Minecraft. Yeah, you don't hear that every day. All right, now that we've got a bunch of materials, it's time to begin construction on the training course. 
Okay, so it's been a couple of days and now we have this beautiful training course. But I think I noticed a creeper in the house. Um, is he still there? Oh, yeah, he is. Right by the chest. Don't blow my house up, please. Also, don't blow me up. Oh, no. Oh my god. So there's a few different paths. We've got this path with the fence posts and these awkward crouch jumps that are going to be really hard. Or we've got a slightly easier way where you jump onto a ladder and do some more jumps. And then there's the glass panes, which is going to be a nightmare. And there's some three block jumps and even one four block jump. <gasps> Then there's this ladder thing where it's a ladder spiral. And then once you get to the top, you can jump into one of these three holes. Cue epic training montage. Oh, that was hard. Oh, we made the four block jump. Yes, we did the glass panes. All right, we made it on top of this tower. Let's attempt this thing. Oh, oh, we made it. Thank God. Oh. All right, guys, it's day 28 and I want to get a farm going. So I'm going to go and craft myself up a nice hoe like so. Hey, that rhymes. And we should probably put this banner back. Nice. And of course, to start a farm, we're going to need lots of seeds. All right, half a stack of seeds. That should be more than enough. Let's make our wheat farm. It's going night, so we should definitely go and sleep real quick. And now it's time to plant the wheat seeds. This is kind of fun, actually. Also, uh, wheat seeds are cool and all, but I want some carrots. Because if you didn't know, in my hardcore series, I have the world's largest carrot farm. And I'm kind of addicted to them. So I think we should set off and look for a village to find some carrots. This looks like a very villagey area. Do you guys know what I mean? Probably not. Ooh, pumpkins. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, that's a desert temple. All right, let's be safe. Dig a staircase down. Decent. And we'll take these bones just in case we find a dog. Ooh, diamond horse armor. Maybe I'll be able to get a good view from up here. Ooh, right there. Perfect. Oh, there's so many hay bales as well. Are you carrots? No, you're not carrots. I want carrots. These, no carrots. All right, I can't find any carrots. So the only logical thing is to hoe the iron golem to death. This is actually going to be hard. You're going to have to be smart. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, he's chasing me. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. All right, all right. And one, two, three. Oh, where is he? What? He just forgot about me. Just like that. That's so mean. Two hours later. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Now we can hoe him to death. Let's do this. Let's assert our dominance over this stupid iron golem. I'm using a steering wheel and I'm literally killing you right now. I don't know how much iron we got from that, but we got a little bit. There's got to be some carrots in this village somewhere. That's a pretty block. Ooh, another cat. Oh, so close. Yes, I hit him once. Then he's... Yes. Oh, my God. Easy. Easy, cat. Easy. I'm getting a lot better. I could probably kill a rabbit now. Another iron golem. Yeah, I'm going to leave this one alone. I don't want to do that again. Oh, my God. Look how many there are here. Go to bed, everyone. Go to bed. Um, I want them leads. Wait, guys, I'm pretty sure if I see this thing here, if I pull this back, it drops stuff. Huh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, another day, another steering wheel. That makes no sense, but the day's over. You get it. Okay, so I think I've come to a conclusion on the carrots. Uh, this village doesn't have any carrots, sadly, but I think I know where I could get some carrots. Do you guys know where I'm thinking? Right over there. So when we confront the pillagers, we're going to try and get some carrots from them. They always have carrots. Die, rabbits, die. Oh, you can't run can you oh, come back look at that sitting sitting rabbit right there easy let's head back to base all right as you can see we're back at the base and we're gonna do some decorations around the inside of the house and maybe even put a floor in the house <gasps> that nice 
Nice. We've got some trees inside like a normal person. Anyways, that's enough decorating. Let's go to sleep. All right, so one of our goals is to get full netherite armor. And what do you need to do before you get full netherite armor? You need to get full diamond armor. So we need to go mining. And let's grab some torches and let's head down to the mine. We found diamonds already. Oh my god. Oh my god. Need a few more and then we'll have a full set of diamond armor. Oh. Oh my god, more. Probably, I don't know, one more group of diamonds and then we're done. Oh yes. Please. Oh my god. Yes. Six. Oh, five. Ooh, we could... <laughs> we can cheat and use that stuff. Why didn't I do this from the very start? I'm so stupid. There's probably like hundreds of you guys commenting why I didn't use these in the beginning. And there we go, full diamond armor. Okay, so now we're back at the surface. Let's grab these diamonds from the chest and let's make ourselves some diamond tools. Perfect. 39 bone meal should be enough. Let's get some wheat. And of course, the reason I'm going to need loads of sheep is to get beds to go netherite mining. All right, I'm kind of bored of just like doing some chores. So I'm going to have some fun on the training course for the rest of the day. All right, let's go find us some sheep. Wait, actually, we should probably build the pen first. Oh my God, it's very dark out. Oh my God, is this a thunderstorm? Think I'll be able to sleep through a thunderstorm? All right, there we go. All right, the weather should hopefully be a bit better now. Oh, that's good. All right, it's looking better. And it's day 42. We need to find ourselves some sheep. Oh my God, look at all the mobs. That reminds me, I'm going to equip my shield again. Now I am safe. Oh, there's a skeleton. Come on, sheep. Where are you? Hmm. Oh, some sheep. Let's go. All right, hop down. Let's get our wheat out and let's persuade the sheep to come with us. Come on, sheep. Hello, other sheep. Do you want some wheat? Come with me, guys. I will drive us home. I'm scared of creepers. Hmm. Oh, it's... Ah, no, 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 no. Stop it. We must kill this dog. Where is he? Stop. No, no, you idiot. Oh, <laughs> He left us with one sheep. Oh my god. Now we need to go and find some more sheep. Sorry, sir. Looks like you might as well die. At least we got two pieces of wool. Great. Wait, we can get ourselves some dogs, guys. Come on. Oh, yes. We got one first try. And second one. Second try. Not too bad. Two, three, four. No. Looks like we're only getting two dogs. All right, let's bring these guys back to base and then we'll go search for more sheep. All right, this guy's called Mark because he's loyal. And I need you guys to comment down below and suggest a name for this dog. And I'll add the name I chose into the pinned comment so you'll be able to see it straight away. So if you want to find out the name of that dog, check the pinned comment and it will tell you. All right, guys, we found our second set of sheep and hopefully a wolf won't kill all of these. All right, I'm going to skip forward until these guys are in their pen. All right, guys, as you can see, we finally got them in inside their pen but now we are stuck i think i've got an idea though if we do this yes and perfect you get some wheat you get some wheat you get some wheat and you get some wheat Okay, guys, we're back after about seven days of planting wheat, fearing sheep, and of course, breeding them. And now we have this many sheep. Do you have anything good to trade? Uh, not really. Sorry. I'm back. Nice. All right, so as I was saying, we've got loads of sheep now, and we've also got all this wool in our inventory that we've collected with these shears. So now we need to grab some wood for the beds. All right, and now we've got everything to make the beds. Uh, for the rest of the day, I think I'm going to make a nice little area for my dogs to enjoy. There we go. It's not much, but it's a nice little dog bed. And we'll make some trap doors for the mine. Perfect. That looks a lot cleaner. All right, so it's day 51, and I'm going to do some practice of blowing some things up. That sheep looks like a prime suspects here let's light the flint and steel and watch <laughs> okay let's practice blowing something up a bit more substantial mm, i don't really want to go close to them because i'm kind of scared but maybe we can launch a tnt so if we place one in here and one up here then hopefully that should launch over there here we go oh that that didn't work <laughs> 
now we need to build a portal and i don't really feel like mining loads of obsidian so we're gonna do it in a different way so the first thing i'm gonna do is make an unlimited water source like so and now we'll make the obsidian base layer then for this next part we're gonna go like this and then this and then this and oh! This is so much harder with a steering wheel. Then we'll do this side like so. Later. And we have our complete portal, even though it is a massive mess. Uh oh. Stop it. Barricade the doors. Okay, let's go to sleep. They're breaking in. Oh. All right, guys, it's the morning. I can still hear zombies and my dogs are running around everywhere. Yes, easy for my dogs. We'll replace the door and I'm going to take this dog into the nether with me. Let's head to the portal. All right, here we are. I've cleared out the portal and let's light it. Oh, this is scary. Okay, we've got a diamond axe, a dog. Let's head into the nether. Can my dog even come with me? I'm not sure. Oh, no. We're in one of these biomes already. No, nope. it's hard to aim. Oh, he's so dead. Ow. Ow. All right, we're heading, we're heading back. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. But this time, let's dig straight down to netherite level. We've just got to be careful we don't run into lava pits because that would be the end of us. All right, guys, so we've reached bedrock. So we now need to go up about 15 blocks from that place. So it's probably going to be about 12. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Perfect. So now we're going to dig straight on from here and build ourselves a nice little room like so. Then we'll make a chest and we'll put everything we don't absolutely need in it. So we have the maximum amount of space for beds. All right, there we go. And now we'll start making a bunch of beds. All right, we've got all our beds. Let's put this stuff away and let's go netherite mining. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to dig a tunnel and then every 10 or so blocks, I'm going to dig a secondary tunnel and I'm going to place a bed on one of them blocks there. And then I'm going to left click it to blow it up. And this unveils a large area so we can find all the netherite we're going to need. So let's get doing it. Oh, there's some already. Ah, uh, wait a second. We need a diamond pickaxe. I'll be back. All right, here we are. We've got a diamond pickaxe. And let's get this ancient debris. Ooh, three pieces. Nice. All right, and now to do this until we get enough ancient debris for full netherite armor. And there you go. As you can see, we now have 28 ancient debris. Oh, that took a long time. Oh, and we also got a bunch of gold. So now I think it's time to grab this stuff and head home. All right, guys, we're back and it's day 59. Let's go in here and craft up some netherite scraps. So how do we do this again? Oh, wait, first we need to smelt it like that. Yeah, and let's craft up some gold with all of this. Okay, nice, 58 gold. All right, there we go. Our netherite scraps are smelted and we got a nice bit of XP from that. Now we can craft up our netherite. So I think it's like this and this. And there we go, seven pieces of netherite. Awesome. All right, let's go to sleep. And then on day 60, we'll put our smithing table down, take our armor off, and we'll craft ourselves up netherite armor. There we go. Woo! Wait. Why is my thing a Steve skin? I can't believe we've got netherite armor with a steering wheel. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we might as well craft ourselves up some netherite tools. And there we go. Some netherite tools. All right, I want to kill some stuff. Oh, there's some pillagers. Nice. Go, dog. Help me. Nice. Nice. Woo, woo. Sorry, sheep. It's time to die. <laughs> I think netherite, like, unenchanted looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, a rabbit. Cue the intense music. I'll get you. Where'd you go? Oh, so close. Yes. 
Woo! Okay, that was pretty exciting. Let's relax and do some farming for the rest of today. Okay, it's the next day and we now have a bunch of wheat. So let's craft up some bread and let's go do some more exploring. Uh, you can come with us too. I feel like we haven't really explored this direction too much. Ooh, there's a cave in this mountain. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of don't want to go down there. It looks pretty scary. <laughs> nice little river with some flowers. Some floating piece of sand. Nice. This is going to be good for an enchanting table. I kind of feel like a submarine swimming with a steering wheel. <laughs> Excuse me, squid. Ow. Ooh, coal. That's a lot of coal. Okay, it looks like it's going night, so we should probably sleep. All right, this place is actually pretty cool. Probably time to head back. Nice. All right, guys, it's day 63, and I've realized if we're going to confront those pillagers over there, we're going to need to enchant our armor and maybe even our sword because we want to be in the best possible gear because it's hard killing stuff with a steering wheel so of course for that we're gonna need to make a level 30 enchant table and one thing that's gonna stop us doing that is leather so let's plant all of our sugar cane before we go and then let's go hunting for some cows in fact i think i see one just over there all right here we go our first unsuspecting cow no leather but that's fine because there's plenty more there's three. Oh, we're so close to the pillagers right now. I don't like this. Also, guys, pro tip, donkeys and horses also drop leather. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if pillagers drop leather. Just kidding, guys. I know they don't, but I want to kill them. Haha. <laughs> okay, I think we've got enough leather, so we don't really need to kill them horses. But... Okay, so we've got all the leather we need, I think. We've also got some more sugar cane in here, which we're going to turn into paper. And there's our first six bookshelves. Only nine more to go. Mm, we've just got to wait for the sugar cane to grow. In the meantime, I'm going to cook up some food and look after my dogs. Good boys. Oh, and I nearly forgot, we actually need obsidian to make an enchanting table. Who would have thought? So let's get mining. All right, I'm just going to sit here and give my arms a break while my sugar cane grows. Okay, guys, so it's now day 67 and all the sugar cane is grown. So let's go harvest it. There we go. There's all the bookshelves. And let's grab some diamonds and craft our enchanting table. Finally, yes. It does level 30 enchants. Awesome. All right, now I think we're going to try and get the best possible enchants on our armor we can. And maybe try and get a really nice sword as well. We're going to go for leggings. Hmm, no. We'll go for our netherite boots first and get the feather falling three. Please, protection. Oh, that's all right. We'll take that. Wall protection four. We'll take that. Nice. Fire protection, no. Fire protection, no. Please, looting. That would be really good. Smite. Looting one, no. Power four. Yes, we'll take that book. Ooh. Let's have a look at that book. Power four and infinity on a book. That is amazing. All right. We'll definitely use that later on. I just realized I didn't mean to enchant this with three levels and now we don't have XP for the rest of it. Great. We're going to go to sleep and now we're going to go down into the mine and mine all the coal, redstone and lapis that we didn't mine before to try and get our XP up. And every time we hit level 30, we'll come back up and enchant our armor. This is gonna take a while. All right, we definitely did the right thing in enchanting our pickaxe. This is gonna make mining for XP a whole lot faster. Please give me protection as well. Come on. Oh, yes. All right, protection three, still decent. All right, protection four on the helmet. Nice, and I'm breaking three. Now it's just the sword. Ooh. We need that. And there we go. Oh, I thought that said loot into. Oh, well, we've got a sharpness for netherite sword. That should be good enough. Today, we're pretty much ready to take on the pillagers. However, I'm still a bit scared. So I think we need to do some more training first. So let's put some stuff away and let's head over and do some more training. Alright, we're ready to confront the pillagers. Let's do it. We've got this. Alright, I see one just on this hill. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, that's a lot. Yes, kill each other. 
see some food and free the iron golem so he can help us. Come on, iron golem, we need you. Attack. All right, let's head up here, see what's going on, see what they've got in their chest. Ooh, do they have any carrots? Yes. Woo. Now we can start off our carrot farm. All of this just for some carrots. Nice. And just for good measure, let's blow up the tower. It's not going to do much, but... <laughs> ah, look at them. Wait, we can burn it down. Yeah, let's burn it down. Oh, oh my god, they're here. Oh, he's got a flame arrow. Yes, look at it. Burning down. <laughs> All right, I think that went pretty well, but I want to do something a bit more relaxing. And now I'm going to spend a few days building a nice cozy house for my dogs. Alright, the house is complete. Let's move the dogs into it. Come with me and um, we can't forget about you. Okay, dogs, welcome to your new home. Good boys. Alright, now it's time to start thinking about our third goal of killing the ender dragon. So once it goes dark, we're going to go hunting for some endermen. But for now, I guess we'll practice on the local wildlife. Oh my god, I just started a raid. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are not doing this. We are not doing this. Maybe if we do 200 days, but definitely not right now. Wait, I think I see some. Yeah, that's definitely some over there. All right, we've got this. Nice. And the other one. Nice. Oh, no pill there. Ah, there's no Enderman. Ooh. Nice. All right, it's now the next night. Let's try and find some more Endermen. I literally can't find a single Enderman. All right, I found some, but there's loads of mobs around. Nice, three pills. Ow, that guy hit, but we've got four pills now. Okay, so it's morning again, and we've still only got four pills. So I think we're going to try something else and maybe focus on getting some blaze rods first. So let's get geared up to go into the nether. Okay, and we're going to make a gold helmet and enchant it with level 30 so that the piglins leave us alone. Wow, protection for an unbreaking three on a gold helmet. That's pretty decent. All right, let's bring all our gold, get some more food, some blocks and some wood and let's go. All right, guys, it's day 80 and we're setting off to find the nether fortress. Oh, <laughs> no way is it right there. The portal's literally there. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess we'll get some gold and trade it with the piglins. This will probably take a bit longer than finding the fortress. All right, now let's try and get loads of gold. Okay, so it's day 84 now, and we have a bunch of gold as you can see this fortune pickaxe definitely helped a lot anyways now it's time to craft all this gold into actual ingots there we go perfect and now let's find a piglin to trade them and hopefully get a bunch of pills so if i go like there and now if i do this he should just jump into the hole nice and now I just chuck all this gold on him. All right, guys, we're probably going to be doing this for the rest of the day, if not another day as well. So I'll see you once I've got a bunch of pearls. All right, guys, they've used up all of my gold. And now we have 17 pearls, which is going to be more than enough to fight the Ender Dragon. So now we have to adventure into the Nether Fortress to get ourselves some blaze rods. All right, there's the achievement. Let's find ourselves some blazes. Oh, is this a spawner? Yes, perfect. Nice. There we go. One eternity later. All right, let's head home. Now, which way was home? Uh. All right, guys, that took a while to get out of the fortress, but we're now finally out and we can get back to the portal. Oh, it feels good to be home. All right, now that we've got everything we need, it's time to get prepared for the Ender Dragon fight so that we can complete all three goals. All right, let's craft up a bunch of blaze powder. 
and let's make uh, we'll make 12 eyes there we go and now we need to craft up a really overpowered bow oh, i can't wait to never have to craft like this again just like that we have a really overpowered bow perfect now let's spend the rest of the day sorting out our inventory because this is a mess all right so our inventory is a lot cleaner and now i am going to craft up a brewing stand perfect and we'll just chuck that over here and we are going to craft up some slow falling potions but we've got one problem we don't have any phantom membranes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go afk here in the comfort of my own home for a few days while we wait for some phantoms to spawn and in this time i'm going to give my arms a much needed rest because sitting here doing this for 20 hours really hurts your arms Right guys, it's the night of day 93 and I think I just heard some phantom spawn and yes I did. Let's kill them. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'm scared. Where are they? Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to hit them. Right. Nice. There's one. Please drop. What are you doing? Ow. Nice, there's one. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Now let's brew up some slow falling patients. So I think it's like this. Water in there and in there. Blaze powder up here, of course. And we chuck in the nether warts to make it an awkward potion. Perfect. And then we'll chuck in the phantom membrane to make a slow falling potion. And you know what? If we grab some redstone real quick, we can increase the time of the slow falling patient. Nice. There's three, four minutes slow falling patients. All right, now we'll go to sleep. And today is the day we leave for the stronghold. One final thing, we'll plant one carrot for every 100,000 subscribers we've got. Well, I guess we'll plant five. We're nearly there. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I do a similar thing in my hardcore series, which you should definitely check out after this video. Because if you like hardcore Minecraft and doing crazy things in it, then I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Anyways, let's find this stronghold okay which way is it that way perfect a few inches later oh it's going straight down here okay nice all right we're digging down here i think we found it all right guys i kind of forgot to record it but as you can see i dug pretty much straight down from where we were and the portal was here not the portal the uh stronghold now just to find the portal room down here maybe oh my god <laughs> we found it nice stop oh my god why is there so many we need to mine the thing uh. all right there we go perfect now let's eat up and oh my god there's three. Three's pretty good. Well, two's pretty good. Three's really good. I don't think I've ever got more than three, though. All right. Here we go. It's getting intense. I'm kind of scared now, actually. Uh, just going to make sure I get everything I need. I'm going to drink. I'm actually going to put this in here so that if I really need to, I can just left click and throw my pill. Anyways, let's jump through. Oh, this is scary, guys. Here we go. Oh, my God. That scared me. Oh, my God. All right. Let's look up there. Throw a pill and get across this gap. Oh, my God. Okay, we're here. Slow falling. Yes, please. Ow. Oh, we've got so much stuff in our inventory. We need to sort it out. Ah, oh, we need to move. Okay, start shooting all the towers down. This one first. We need to move. Ah, it's hard to move. Yeah, on my way, Enderman. Ah, oh, nice. We need to hit them all. Come on. Oh, that needs to be higher. All right, that did some. Not much, but some. Here we go. Coming down. He's slowly dying. Come down, please. Here he is. And. Come on, a few more hits. Let's go. And there we go, guys. We survived 100 days with the steering wheel in hardcore Minecraft. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to check out my hardcore series for more epic videos.